Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And guess what? We're back at the biggest unit we've ever bought by ourselves for part two. So if you didn't see the flea market video from yesterday, we actually sold everything we took out of the unit so far. Everything that you saw in the video. Now, after you see it, we moved a little bit more when we opened it up. But if you want to see how much money we made already, make sure you check that video out first. But let's get back in this unit. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Let's go. Oh yeah, back to paradise. So as you can see, some of the bigger furniture, we already moved one load out of here today, but there was no boxes or totes. We moved the couch, part of the bed, a uh, couple bookshelves and things like that. And that was pretty much a van load on its own. So we left all the boxes and mystery in here. So I guess let's start somewhere, right? First of all, that's not mystery, unfortunately. We did move this, I don't wanna lie. <laughs> it's empty. It's just the laundry basket with a laundry basket in it. So that'll still sell for a couple bucks at the flea market. This we were about to take with us, and I was like, you know what? People love Disney and Mickey Mouse, so let's leave it in there and show it. Oh, so, a Minnie Mouse table. A lot of this stuff's dirty because it's been in here for a while, but we're just going to take Clorox wipes to all this, and that'll look pretty new. I guarantee you, it's at least $5, I said. It's a nice little table. And last time when we were at the flea market, the Minnie Mouse doll sold in, like, literally before we unload the van. Pretty quick, so... Make sure you check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. So before we pull the box down, I want to point out, this was on the floor. It's a Walt Disney Productions Presents the Love Bugs. I know like first edition books and older ones can be worth quite a bit of good money. Let's see if we can find a date on it. 1979. So I don't know if that's an original or not. So you guys that are into Disney, make sure you let us know because Disney's old. It's been around for a long time. So it might be original. It might be a remake. We don't know, but let's get this big boy down. Box number one. <laughs> Tape's no match for me. Super Jesus. I'm well rested for the first time in a long time. Ooh, I like random stuff. Let's see. What is that? Um, a Slidex VHS video cassette tape rewinder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Who remembers Blockbuster VHSs? Be kind, rewind, but not, none of us really did it. But I remember it on every single VHS tape. That makes me feel old now. I'm only 25. I shouldn't feel like that. So this looks like a bunch of little pieces to a set for a kid's toy. Um, I hope those are mints mm -hmm. mixed in there with the kid's stuff. Okay, they're mints. Oh, well, they're everywhere now. This looks like all dollhouse furniture, and I'm pretty sure I see what looks like a dollhouse back. I saw it somewhere. <laughs> it's back there. <laughs> we'll find it. So that, this looks like a laptop charger, but we haven't found a laptop yet. Ooh, look at that. A gray Nike Air Max size 11, but well, one shoe. Oh, another shoe. Two. How much did we sell them for last time? Because they're not like Jordan. They're Jordans. You'll get like 40 or 50 yeah. for you. I mean, I would put. Like I would list them like for I don't know between 20 and 30. You think or they're so. Poshmark worthy or flea market? Uh, maybe Poshmark. We would, might try it on Poshmark. Poshmark 15, 20. Flea market 10 bucks. It all depends on how much volume we have. Let's keep going. And by the way, I want to give a thank you to everyone who keeps saying the clothes sell at the flea market. We tried it for the first time last time. We just brought two totes or three totes of clothes. We probably made over $60 on just clothes alone that we would have donated. So whoever said that, I know there's quite a few of you. Thank you. It works. So when I see clothes now, I'm not even sad about it. Um, which this whole tote or box is. Nothing but clothes, but probably 15 bucks right there. So let's put that away and keep on going. So let's see what this weird shaped container here is. It just feels open already. What is it? Ooh, is that a car scrubber thingy? It's exactly what that is, isn't it? Like a detailer. A buffer. Is it a buffer? <laughs> I don't know. It's Craftsman and it's in this container. So I would assume it works. Does it plug? Okay, it plugs in right here. It's not very long. I guess you need an extension cord for that. Yeah. But we got that. Let's set this aside. Pull out the next one. So we pulled up what looks like some type of gift, but on the other side, it's it looks locked. Money? Ooh. Oh, a drawer. Oh. oh. But nothing. And 24 karat gold watch? <laughs> nothing. Ugh, someone in there. Somewhere in here, there's a jewelry box. That looks like it goes to a jewelry box too, doesn't it? Yep. Nope. Mm. All right, let's look in this box. Oh boy, my favorite. Well, this is one thing we can't sell. Yeah, now I'm trying to stop it with my leg. This is one thing we can't, oop, sell that. What's in there? Oh, it's just the box. Well. I don't know if it's one of those like jewelry box things or one of those like prank boxes. I hope not. This looks like all paperwork. I found a card. 
Other pictures. Picture. So nothing in here but paperwork and personal stuff. I'm gonna get this one out the way, get the clothes, and then we'll keep on going. Now we got the top of the suitcase cleared off. So these, these, these clothes go away. Let's see what we got in here. First, Samsonite, hard one. That's $15, $10, hard Samsonite like that. Let's see what we got. This is nothing. Lottery ticket, and no wins. Wah, wah, wah. Um, what do we got? Look at all this for clearance, but they had to work it. The Halloween store. Yeah. Yes. What is that? Strap. Oh, is this for the truck? Mm -hmm. Okay, officially, <laughs> you're on clearance. Aw. I'm on clearance. Sorry. We're not worth a lot. They're just being discounted right now. What is that? West Marine. Isn't that a boating company? Yeah. Is there a boat back there? That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, what if they're all stacked up on a boat back there? That'd be awesome. I don't, that'd be kind of a neat trick how they got it in the door, but after that, I don't know. Well, the rest of this, look. Is that a boat light? Mm. A motorcycle? What is that for? I do not know. Where's the other part? Is it just a... Just a wire. Mm. That goes into the car. Oh, well, I guess it's just a... Just an extra just light. light. All right. Halt punching glove, boxing glove, what I call a punching glove. I think that's it for this. Nothing else too interesting, so we're gonna fill it up and then pull out something new. So remember last time I told you I saw the back of this? I couldn't tell if it was a safe or a filing cabinet. It looks like it's more of a filing cabinet, unfortunately, but it also has a lock on it, so it's a lock safe filing cabinet thingy. Let's hope there's money in it. Is it locked? Nope. Okay, let's see. Um, what is this? A Kodak photo printer for a mini camera? That's empty. We have remote. Ooh, give me that. Why is this so stuck? What is, is that part of an Apple Watch? Do you see it? I think that's what it is. One of you Apple people. Well, that's <laughs> nothing. Part of an Apple Watch or. No? An I mean, that iPod like or face. what? It's an old Walmart card. I wonder if these are credit cards. It doesn't have like a personal name on it, but. Like, it just says value customer. Hmm, I'll have to try that. Ah, oh, our light. light. All right, uh -huh. we're back, we're back, we're back. Other than that, this one doesn't look to have anything in it. Fish food, joy. Ooh, we got a folder. What's in the folder? Nothing's in the folder. <laughs> no, it's just papers. Um, yeah, just papers, unfortunately. Clipboard. What kind of light is that? Come here. Some flashlights could be expensive. This is a Quantum. I don't know what that one is. Put that back in here. The last one. Vans off the wall. It's screws. It's hey, the fast track things. You think we just throw these in our van and car? Yeah, yeah I don't think we that. <laughs> and then just paper. So nothing too exciting in this, but this thing itself, I think I'll sell for at least five to $10. All right, so just pull this tote down. Let's see what we got. Well, that looks like part of a blender. It also looks very disgusting, but nothing. Clorox wipes can't fix. What is this? That looks like a security camera. Yep. All by itself for some reason. Swan brand security. Okay. Then we got, what is this? A food sensitivity test. That's something I've never seen before. Have you ever seen that? No. Does that have expiration on it? That I don't know, does it? Not that I can see, but it would make sense if it's edible, it would expire at some point. So we got a blender, I guess, does that go to this, you think? Probably. Let's see. Yep, that fits on there. So a blender, it's dirty, clean it up, five, ten dollars. We have this one, it's full of like cornflakes or something. Oats. Oats. This nice little toaster oven here. Again, all this stuff's dirty and used, but let me clean it up. I guarantee this is about a 30 to $40. Uh, not just that. I mean, all the stuff in this towed together will sell for about $30, $40. Uh, drain board thingy. Couple muffin pans. Everything needs to be washed out. And look, one, two, three, four pots and pans here. Dollar a piece, that's another $4. So what else? What is that? A strainer? Mm -hmm. A rubber strainer. Have you ever seen that? I've never seen that. <laughs> Room effective. All right. 
flat. Cheese grater. Another pan, another dollar. Um, this is like one of those things from a movie, like soup. I never feel like I've never seen one in person. A ladle. Yeah, that. This is glass. What brand is it? This is Anchor Ovenware Casserole Dish. I don't know if that has any value. If it doesn't, it'll probably just be a dollar at the flea market. Well, a walking, cool-looking dinosaur thing. It's a fur reel. It says on the foot. Maybe. For real, friends. Hey, we got multi-surface cleaner to help us clean all your stuff. I appreciate that. And then we got this thing. This is full of rice. Rice. All right. Not good. Not good. Not good. Please go to that. Okay, good. Then we got, <laughs> I guess if you want to clean yourself in the kitchen, you know, <clears throat> that, a pie cutter, and this looks like what the sugar usually goes in, but it has like a few other things in it. I'm going to stick to what I said. I think this is about $30 to $40 at the flea market and resale for all this stuff. Let's go to the low end. $30 for this. Now we're going to start pulling stuff off of here in hopes maybe we can get this thing cleared today. First thing we got is a little stroller. Easy five. And of course it's, it's Minnie Mouse. Mouse. Easy five bucks. Set that right over here. It's going to roll away, but that's okay. So, <clears throat> what do we got here? This looks like all clothes. All clothes, couple coats. This, there's a few pairs of shoes in there, but they don't look like Nike or Jordan or anything like that. So this will probably yeah. all again just be stuff that goes at the flea market. Just throw it out there. Ooh. Take anything you want for a dollar, it sells. This little thingy. Yeah, I don't know. Flea market. That's, yeah. Dollar. A dollar's that up. <laughs> this thing. Empty. What are these? This is new. Morona. It's got a tag on it, but it definitely doesn't look too new. Maybe made to look that way. Maybe. It's got something in it. What do we have? Oh, broken glasses. That's it, okay. <laughs> a dime. Making money out here. <gasps> glasses that are my size. Yes. Does it look good? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep going to this unit. Looks like the glass is off the comfy couch. You remember that? Kinda. Minnie Mouse lunchbox too. Why do I feel like these are kind of a prescription? Like, I feel like they're making me dizzy. They're probably just dirty. That was a weird feeling. All right. Then we got, I forgot her Ariel. name. Ariel. Ariel, the mermaid. So, and don't forget this thing we usually sell for three. This one's probably $3, so it's dirty. If they're in good shape, you can get five bucks for them like that. Probably $3, so I'm gonna get this out and keep on going. So, now we're gonna start clearing off the shelf. First, let's get this. This feels pretty empty. Lone Tree Golf Course. Ugh. Nothing, anything in it? Don't look like it. So, let me lift it all the way up. Anything? Nope. So, an empty <laughs> golf bag. I'm not really too sure. I never found one of these yet. But I'd say at least something, a few dollars. Then we have that. What is this? Run Happy. Ooh, they're in there. Oh, another pair of shoes are in there. So these are Steve Madden. And they are, these are brand new. Look at that. Nice. These are probably Poshmark. Yeah. If that's what they are, if they're really Steve Madden, because there's not like a picture of the shoe on the box. But the box does say Steve Madden. So let's hope that's what they are. Set this aside too. Right over somewhere. Over here. Trying to be a little bit more organized this time. Look what we got. Oh, it's just a car. I thought it was an envelope. Nothing. It's like a cutting board. Yeah, look at Anyone? all the knife slashes on them. I'd say so. This, uh, hey, a Ziploc vacuum sealer. Nice. That'll sell too. Really easy. It looks like it's new. Why put that in there? Let's make sure if it's in there. I don't trust these people. Yeah, that's what's in there. It is new. It's still in the plastic. Cool. That might go on eBay, depending on how much these sell for. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look that up because it's already nice and packaged and everything. Can't beat that when it's brand new. So let's go ahead and set this over here. What else do we got? The magic love ball. Is this thing of the thing at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. You know what? That's my that's my mood right now. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You didn't even ask it a question. Oh well. <laughs> Ask this a question. It's magic. I don't want to ask that a question. It's just a pop pad for a bra. <laughs> it's 
So just a bunch of random little things here. Just gonna toss it over there. I think my organization's slowly going away. Ugh, what do we have in this? This looks like mail. Something I feel like is always in common with storage units is people keep all their mail, and I don't know why. Receipts and stuff I get tax purposes, but why somebody puts all their mail in storage is just beyond me. Just throw it away. Open it, see what it is, and throw it away like the rest of it. That's all mail. Throw that out. This is a couple little purse, California Republic purse. That'll definitely go out here. This, depending on how much it goes for, maybe Poshmark. Is that the... It does have a number on it. It's Robin Ruth. I'm saying that like it meant something to me. Yeah, I know. I, I don't have know. no idea what that means. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a brand. It's Robin Ruth. Okay. All right. Now we know nothing more than we did. We got this. Just look like a sack. Just put that there. Ooh, I think I see a little tool set. Come here. Um, right here. Look at that. Oh, it's missing the main screwdriver in there, but it's got all these in there. Not bad. This, just paper. Good and mad. That's how I feel sometimes. And other than that, I think we're going to have to move this black table out the way in order to get to the rest of that. So we'll be right back. So we got the table out of here. Nice little, probably five, ten dollar table. But we got it. Get out. Get out. Okay. Maybe not. This. This little bag, got a pair of shoes, look at that, sparkly boots, but here's the other one with those, and there's also a sparkly pair that would look like they're used, but a dollar. This, looks like it's full of, I don't know what, clothes, but the best thing on here is definitely this. I don't know what this particular brand is, but I know these jump boxes can go for over $100 easy. This one's a Pristone portable power jump jump it so not sure how much this particular one goes for hopefully it's on the higher end of the spectrum but if not still good money and that's just about everything on here so now we're gonna try to get those totes up there down i don't know how but we gotta do it so just got these totes down and they definitely weren't like super heavy and almost broke me i'm definitely not sweating because of it but they're down let's see and it's just closed and it's just closed we also got this rockstar this beauty a rockstar beauty is this what i think it is other oh, eye drops <laughs> thought it was gonna be something else a lubricating plus that's, that's all i saw was lubricating plus all right so that's an empty tote we can use this to pack stuff in this better not be all closed does it look like it some yeah mostly all right let's see so first we have a full bed set which may or may not be new who knows this thing Ah uh, no! Not all oh, clothes. Not no. Oh, another lottery ticket. Easy note, whatever that is. Not all oh, clothes. No, yeah, it's all clothes. Thank and you. even worse, Ross clothes. But it was fifteen dollars, so that's all right. That's at least ten dollars, twenty dollars worth of clothes. So I'm not gonna be too mad, but let's get it out the way and hopefully pull something out that's more interesting to look at. So one thing I'm really happy we found, not for resale purposes, is this. So those of you guys that have been watching this for a long time, the first storage unit we ever cleaned out, we found this exact same fan and tried it at the house and it was amazing. But unfortunately, when we came to California, we couldn't fit it in the van, so we had to leave it behind. And guess what? <laughs> we got another one. We bought like a cheap replacement from Walmart or Big Lots or something, but it just, it was never the same as this. This thing will just like literally drop your temperature by 15 degrees instantly. I love it. So that is not being sold. Now, should I look in the tote or get this TV up? Oh my gosh, it's its evil TV. little cousin. Oh no. <laughs> the possessed bowl in there. Get this TV up. This TV sold fast last time. Is it all together? Yeah, it's got its plug. I bet you that's, I mean, it's not great. It's really small. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, I'd say 10, 20 bucks. Let's go 15, something like that. We'll sell it, that's for sure. Let's get it out the way. It's not like super heavy. It's not box TV heavy, but it's not as light as a good flat screen. You look in here? Yes. I'm scared too. <sighs> oh. Another tote of clothes. Not fun to look at, but again, they do make money. Let's look really fast through them, skim through them. Hangers. This is somebody's closet. They had to chuck in really fast and go. 
Yep, all closed, all the way down. Nothing exciting there, so I'm gonna box this toad up and find, I don't know, one of these, one of these, we're gonna go through some more. Get. Okay, there it goes. I don't know where, oh, over here. Thing won't mess with me again. Let's keep going, guys. So we just loaded everything we pulled out so far into the van. Still have a little bit of room. Well, not everything. We left that crap right <laughs> there, but still have a little bit of room. We should be able to go through another toad and maybe those suitcases hidden back there. You see that? Yeah. That's a little intriguing. Let's pull this one out. I see more wood over there. What do you think that is? Um, maybe entertainment center? Who knows? Nobody knows. We still have so much mystery. There could be a freaking boat back there for all I know. <laughs> Let's see. Kitchen stuff, that's not bad. Kitchen stuff is well, not like expensive, but fast, so it's all good. Pot. That's a huge fry. That looks new, doesn't it? Yeah, that's like a stir fry pan. That's kind of cool. We don't have one of those, do we? No. Little pan goes with it. Another frying pan. <clears throat> couple dollars here, couple dollars there. Dollars, dollars, dollars. <laughs> what is that, like a spice wine rack or spice maybe? Something, whatever you can use it for. Yeah, that's what I was going to call it. That's an orange bowl. What? The orange bowl might be Pyrex. All right, well, let's see. Well, this looks like a coffee pot wrapped up. That's probably five bucks. Let's see what this one is. Um, doesn't say. It does, but it's like, I can't see it. It's not Pyrex though. Oh, okay. But it's something else. Wait, Oops. An Oster blender too. It's okay. How come it took care of that one and not the Cuisinart one? I know. That's another five bucks for those two. That's at least probably fifteen dollars for the stuff so far. What is this one? Toaster. Toaster. Yeah, probably two. <laughs> Steve Madden. Got a bread loaf pan in there. Look at this. This is nice. It's the bun pan. Not the bun pan. This looks nice. Mm -hmm that this is wrapped up well another couple of dollars and that's just plastic wear hey there's a mixer down there <laughs> we just bought i say all right. in all this one i would say at least 20 bucks don't you think probably a little more 25 maybe yeah it's a lot of good stuff i'm happy 30. with this one 25 30 bucks that's a good tote so as you can see we found the little mini mouse chair that probably goes with the table we found earlier and we can also see, remember I saw the dollhouse, you could start to see the dollhouse and it goes pretty... Can we lean this back at all, you think? Uh, no. I can try. I think this is no, holding that nowhere. stuff. <laughs> so I'd rather not, but it goes back pretty far. We'll get to it as we keep uh, going. But annoying. look on this side. You can see like a little bit more just how far back it goes. Nah. You see it? Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What about that? Still no? Not really, <laughs> but it goes pretty it, far back. From what, like what is showing right here, probably three times this. So I think there's like four columns of a size like that. So that should be worth a good amount of money. If you know that kind of stuff, let us know down in the comments if you think that's high value or not. But we're gonna take the chair since we gotta take what we have to the flea market Monday. Monday. So I'm gonna take the chair with the flea or the chair with the table. Heads all over Monday, the place. Monday, Monday. So, should I try to get this box down? Uh, I'm sorry if I move this one, this one's going down. If I move this one, this one's going okay, down. Okay, well, what if I hold that one and you take that one? Yeah, let's <laughs> just put the camera down for a split second. So, we got some stuff down. Definitely, definitely didn't cause a mini avalanche in there. Actually, we did, we did all right. These two boxes, <laughs> we moved that box and that green tote in that box tried to come with it. But overall, we did all right. Let's see what we have in here. This is nothing. That's a shoe. Had that flip flop Ooh. the first day. Look at this. This looks like it could be a real pretty old mirror, doesn't it? Mm hmm. It's showing me. Oh, is it? I say hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. And look at the way it's hung. That could be really it was old. old. Does it have weight to it? It's got a lot of weight. It's pretty heavy. I don't want to break it. Very gentle. All right. This is somebody's yearbook. It's colored, so it's not too old. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello. <coughs> this thingy, what are you? Oh, why are you so heavy? What is that? What is this thing? Odd light? It looks like we found an odd light before. That's like the base to it's it. really heavy for some reason. It keeps it sturdy. It keeps it standing up. All that else is in here is pillows, and they all like dogs on them. You see the figure? Yeah. 
dog pillows. They might sell just because of that. It looks like a seal. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what it is. So we got that. I'm gonna pull this out and go through the next tote. So I think this box is pretty much all clothes except for whatever this is. I thought it was a shower head, but then it looks like a screw in. So I don't really know what that is. But everything else in here is just clothes. But again, we had we did good selling clothes last time. We brought three totes and we probably made like $60 off of just clothes that we would have just got rid of. So you know what? I'm not gonna complain no more about clothes. And the great thing is about them, you can take them there, sell what you can sell, and they're always free to donate everywhere. You can just donate clothes anywhere. So they're pretty kind of, they're, they're boring to look at, but they're actually just like money sitting there. So nothing else in here but clothes and that's it. Um, well, we had a few other totes down here, but this whole bag right here is a blanket and some more clothes right here, a pillow, and then in this one, there's a blanket, and I don't know, this one has some stuff at the bottom. Go on, look. Let's see. Is that a tablet? No, it's a tablet case with nothing in it. This thing, nothing. That looks like a tablet stand. Paper. This. This. What is that? I feel like I used to live off Mad Libs. I used to, I remember those things. Um, I don't know what that is actually. It has like outlets. Is it a power bank? Maybe. Kodiak by Outdoor Tech. It doesn't really say what it is, but it's there. That hole punch. And all of the rest down there is paper. Yeah, paper, I think these are, yeah, these are all pictures, so. Nothing else we're gonna go through in here. We're gonna load the van up. We might just about be at pretty much maximum capacity, but I'll be right back in a second to let you know. So see you then. Well guys, this van's about loaded to pretty much maximum capacity. As you can see, look in here, we're not fitting. Nothing else in there. It's full, so that's gonna be into the, at the, ugh, I can't speak today. That's gonna be the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, leave it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and be ready for more of this and more selling of this stuff. The new flea market videos are gonna actually have an external mic so you can hear the conversation between us and the customers, which would, should make them a lot more enjoyable. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.